All right, this is my first impression of Moron Mission by Ruroni Ruron Catholic for the 2009 Terrible Games Contest. All right, I do this with much trepidation. Oh, upgrading. Fantastic graphics. Stock. Oh dear. Um, my dad used to tell me. Tell me stories that made no sense. Stories about armless men who wore no pants. And talking vegetables who told Bible stories. But this is the age of science. There's no room for not. Um, okay. So I became a missionary to spread the gospel to heathens abroad. My superior science. Ooh. Convert, dang it. What part of God loves you don't you get? Duh, me not understand. I like boys. I like pants. Regardless. Regardless, or shall I say, irregardless, you are sinners and thus doomed to hell upon death unless you accept the love of Christ who died for you. Blah, blah, blah. Scientific proof. Quack, quack. Swear word. What? Uh, yes. Fail. So this appears to be um, Vikings of Midgard. Um, Fenrir Lunaris's game with the um, map tiles mangled. And the text box is replaced with Stuff. Wear pants. I think this game is pretty much in keeping with the original spirit of um, the Terrible Games Contest. But uh, uh, Germany Apostles. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, these don't even join the team. They just talk to you. Martyr Fire. I think I get the gist of the plot. Mauled, poisoned, sleep drugs. Um, I prefer the interpretation of Terrible Games Contest, which says that um, it is a games contest which is great and terrible, as opposed to the one where it's a contest for games that are terrible. Which I... Wee, I'm walking around on a green floor. Uh, is that it? Mainly I'm just curious how... Oh, ouch, my eyes. I'm curious how far this goes on. Cosmic loser... I think if I go far enough, I'm just going to start finding unedited text boxes from uh, Vikings of Midgard, but uh, I don't have the patience to find out how far I'm going to have to go to do that. And I could just play Vikings of Midgard, which I might actually enjoy. Would definitely enjoy. So I'm going to draw this to a conclusion, and we'll leave you with the final thought. Naturally, the realm of the dang danged world would only have one consumable item, the universal food of Esperon, which is actually the best text box in the entire game so far. I'm glad I took the time to read it.